Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Shogun Total War, where I'm playing as Clan Shimazu. And in the last episode, I was able to take a few territories off of Clan Takeda. I took uh, Kai and Izu. And it looks like they are on their last legs here. They have Sagami and Musashi, but both provinces are barely defended. And they do have Kazuke right here, which has a few forces. They do have their legendary six-star general, Takeda Shingen. And in this, in this episode... I plan on uh, do I want to take out these two provinces right here uh, before I do that I actually do want to move a few armies up I know that might seem a little silly just because I could actually blitz them now sure yes I could um, but I'm looking at right now uh, three turns before this castle sieged out I'm not gonna attack it I'm just gonna let it siege out I do have my daimyo's army that uh, you know could use a little TLC not too much it's doing okay but uh, it can use a few repairs, and down here, this isn't even a full composition. I need spearmen, quite frankly, so I need to bring those over. And so I need to do that before I want to, I mean, I, I don't have to, but I want to. I want to do that before I really push into Takeda, just so that I have some more full army compositions available when the eventual war starts with Clan Yusugi. I have plenty of reinforcements back here, so they're just moving up and they will be ready to um, to uh, help out with the following battles pretty soon here. And so far, the story of Clan Shimazu has been the story of the family itself. We have a lot of sons, <laughs> and um, it's been a pretty good family. It looks like we have, so the oldest son up here, Shimazu Yoshimoto, started out as a three star, now he's a four star, and he's holding this uh, flank up here against Clan Yusugi, who is our ally for the time being, but uh, I, I would think any moment now there's going to be a war brewing up here, and he's being helped out by his younger brother, so my second oldest son, Shimazu Yoshihisa, who started out as a four-star general, so good for him, and then my third oldest son, Shimazu Yoshihiro, hasn't fought any battles yet in this campaign. It says 1-8 uh, battles, but that's just kind of like a pre-stat. Um, so I guess when he was 15? <laughs> but uh, not with me. He hasn't fought any battles with me. And I've brought him in sh into Shinano to take over one of these armies and help out with the defense of one of my most important provinces. So there you go, kid. Have fun with that. And uh, dad's just chilling here. I got my dad up to five stars, so he's doing pretty well. Not as good as uh, the young buck uh, to get a Shingen, but he'll hold his own. And I do intend to do some good work with them moving forward into this campaign. So it's been fun having, you know, this story be about the Shimazu clan, specifically the family members themselves. If you look at all of my other generals that are not family members, I don't really have anything. I, I got two star here, one star, one star, one star, two star, two star, one star. Uh, yeah, so not a lot. <laughs> it's just both, mostly just my my sons. So that means I have to keep keeping them safe with Shinobi, and I have to keep keeping them safe in the battles themselves by keeping them out of the you know actual hand-to-hand uh, -hand conflict. That's why I like having them. Be my archers, which is if you see down here that Shimazu Man right there is a symbol for my heir. So this archer unit is one of my heirs, and this archer unit is another one of my heirs. He has an armor upgrade indicated by this bronze icon right here. It's a bronze shield, so he's going to survive pretty well. Uh, Daimyo, of course, is very hard to kill. They're just kind of coded that way. Um, the bodyguard is already heavy cav cavalry, which is really good, but the daimyo specifically himself is specifically really hard to kill. Um, he can kind of tank out for, um, like, a lot, a lot of minutes against attacks, so he can do pretty well for himself. But then I kind of messed up here. Um, my third oldest son is a Nodachi Swordsman. So, crap. Um, I just have to keep him out of combat because no Dachi Swordsmen are notorious for dying. They're really good at killing. Don't get me wrong. That's great. But they're not really good at surviving. And no armor upgrades. Uh, he has a single weapon upgrade indicated by this little sword icon down here. Good general as a four star. But I just have to keep him out of combat. And hopefully also keep him away from being shot by arrows. So... 
That's kind of annoying. I, I kind of messed up on that one. And speaking of which, I have to keep an eye on my fourth oldest son, Shimazu Norihisa. He's coming right up. Um, he's 15 years old, which means not this season and not the next, but then spring season. So, so two years or two seasons from now, I need to make sure that this air is in a archery unit. That's how I want my airs. So I think this is at the end of the turn. I'm just going to double check my cues for buildings and units, and I'll be right back with you. Here we are, got my build orders in, and let's see. So it is autumn, so I want to make sure my taxes are set to punitive. Just want to double check my public order to make sure everything is green, everything is looking good here. Yes, it is. And I think I'm ready to end the turn here, so yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, didn't have enough money for all of that, but that's going to be okay. Got that famous swordsmith, so that'll be producing, uh, I believe, plus two to my attack for my Nodachi swordsman, so that's always a good thing. Got another Portuguese trading post, so more money coming in from that here in Osumi. And same thing for here in Hyuga. And same thing here in Higo. So I'm going to be building a lot of those. All right, what do we got? What's going on? Okay. All right, so just two more uh, turns for this siege to be over. My security forces have caught and killed an enemy shinobi. Lord Yusugi is sus suspected to be his master. Oh... Clan Yusugi is checking me out here. Well, that's to be suspected. Um, another one here at Echizen. Okay. We got an average harvest of 13,670. Not bad. Actually, let me check that out again. I just want to see. So, yeah. So that cathedral income. For anyone who is wondering and just wants to see the proof uh, for why it's a good thing to go Christian that 1600 is coming from churches which I could build more of if I just uh, build more large castles I see the thing is with that is I do need to build a large castle before I can build a church so that is a I believe a 400 uh, koku total or no I'm sorry 800 koku total for the two buildings altogether so it is kind of a big investment but altogether um, it's a lot of money it's 200 koku per church but the real money winner for me is that it's the Portuguese trading post that only costs 400 koku to build per trading post. As long as I already have a port in that province, I can build that trading post. And since, as I've mentioned before, I'm already building a port in every province that I can build a port. Now, yes, a port is an expensive um, investment. But that plus the trading post makes it very well worth it because that's a 400 koku total between the two buildings per province that can have those things. So that that money is already there. Whereas with the churches, I'm not necessarily building large castles in every province just because I don't need them. So I'm not really maxing out on that. I built as many as I needed to build the cathedral so I can get profit from that. Um, and that I might just keep it there if I really wanted to just just go crazy with it. Uh, I could absolutely do that if my if I thought my campaign was going to last longer. I could totally just do that and build more. I don't think my campaign is going to last long enough for that to matter. I think I still have most of. So I started uh, really concentrating on some trading posts here in Kyushu. But I still have pretty much all of these territories that still need trading posts, which is going to be just an absurd amount of money. So I don't really need that extra bit coming in from just just going crazy with churches. Not really something that I need to do. So I'm fine with that. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to check out my forces and see what needs to go where, and I'll be with you in a minute. And here we are. I have my build orders put in. I have built a few buildings in this uh, winter season. Looking at building a cold golden palace here in Satsuma to give my Nodachi swordsmen plus two to their morale. That'll do very well for them. Looking at looking forward to making these guys very badass indeed. 
And then just built a few more uh, Portuguese trading posts throughout Kyushu. That should just about do it for this island. And then down here, I just have a regular uh, palace being built to give plus one morale to my Nodachi swordsman. And then in Nagato, I've uh, finally put in for the famous army to give plus two to the armor of my archers that I'll be producing here. So looking forward to go to those going through. And then I've uh, put my normal queue in for all my units. Just as a reminder, I do finally have access to muskets, and so I am building those and. I'm getting ready to replace all of the arquebusiers in all of my armies with musketeers. So that'll be really fun once I get those going. Especially with all of these river battles coming up. Here in Masashi, uh, Shimosa, and Echigo specifically are the three that are left, I believe. And those will be really fun to be played or fought with actual muskets. Their range is greater and they just do so well. So that's going to be really cool to get into. And let's see, I think it's time to end the turn. Yes, it is. Let's go. All right, I have the port in Inaba. That should be one of my last ports, I believe. And this is it. Yeah, this is the last port in any province that I own that I don't have yet. So that's done there. Okay, so one turn left for this castle here in Kai. Let's see, got some more shinobi uh, taking a peek at me here in Echizen, no doubt from Clan Yusugi. Now, what the heck is Takeda doing? Are they actually still... You know, I thought they are on their last legs, and if you look at them, they, they have to be, but let's take a peek. And uh, they've taken Mutsu again. So yeah, that's... um. That was Clan Yusugi's capital province, so it's interesting. It's interesting that there's still, I mean, if you if you look at this, I don't know how, if Clan Yusugi at least has Hitachi, how have they not taken uh, Musashi yet? It's really interesting to me. Or, you know, they have uh, Shimotsuke, but how have they not taken Kozuke? Yeah, Yusugi still has these provinces down here, so it's interesting that they're just kind of not powerful enough to stop this. I, I really thought Clan Takeda would not be able to pull this maneuver off, so very interesting, very unexpected. Um, maybe Clan Yusugi is thinking, like, what the heck, Shimazu, just take him out, finish them already. And I, I will. <laughs> I'll get around to it. But, I mean, look at this. I mean, they have more forces fronting up against me than they maybe do over here actually yeah that's what I want to go look at I'm gonna send my emissary out to go take a peek at Yusugi and go see what I can see yeah I'm curious now I want to, I want to see what's going on over there over there all right I'm just gonna get my armies in order and I'll be with you when I'm ready to click enter and here we are just moved my troops up and I put my uh, unit queues in for all of my unit production and I was just about to think I was ready until I realized that the thing that I almost forgot, my son is of age, and this is the turn where his unit is assigned. So I just have to make sure that the lefternmost province is the unit that I want him to be in, because that's how it works here. So I uh, quickly got rid of all my unit queues in all of Kyushu, because I want him to be in this archer unit, that has the plus one to its honor here in Nagato. So hopefully that should be him. I still do have unit cues, cues here in Aki and Tosa, but just judging by this being the furthest left in most province producing a unit, that should be Nagato. Uh, if anything, this will be a good test to see, to see if I'm right about that, but that's I think, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And let's see and find out as I press enter. Okay, got, got, got that castle in Izu. And Kofu Castle in Kai Province has fallen to my troops. Here we go. 
and heir matures. Lord Takeda's son has come of age and is ready to serve him. He now has two heirs ready to take his place if he dies. So they're not done yet. And right on time, my heir matures as well. Shimazu Norihisa. Let's see where he is. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And uh, not quite the stud that his uh, two older brothers are. Three stars is still respectable, but anyway, this has been interesting for me because I know that these um, star ratings for for heirs is hard coded, and I know that that is actually part of the balancing for uh, the clans themselves. And it is uh, as, as historical as CA could make it. So good generals historically were given good star ratings in this in this game. So this has been fun for me trying to keep track of basically. One of the things that this game balances is uh, air availability is another one. So in some uh, games, you just end up with basically, depending on your clan, you can have your daimyo and then one air for most of the game. It's just those two guys. And you have to really keep them safe because you don't have the luxury that Shimazu has with all of these all of these heirs. I have four that are of age to fight and lead. And I have a fifth one even that's you know 16 years off sure 15 years off but if my campaign did go that long then that i would want that i would want him to be able to fight and fight for me and yeah there's definitely some uh uh clans that just don't have that <laughs> not at all it's very touch and go with making sure you keep them all safe which of course is what you want to do anyway but in this case it's uh it's a certain luxury that clan shimazu does have so let's see on this front it looks like nothing quite has changed we can take a peek here at the throne room map to see, yes, Takeda still has Mutsu, so that's something to keep an eye on. And I do want to keep, uh, where's my emissary? I want him moving out in this direction to see what's going on over here. And other than that, I'm just going to get my soldiers moved up and I'll be with you when I'm ready to end the turn. And I've just finished moving my troops and soldiers up and putting my uh, build orders in for all my units. And let's see, I got my heir, yes, so this is my fourth oldest son, my newest heir to come of age, and he is ready. I'm not quite sure what I want him to do yet, so I might just have him hang out and reinforce uh, in Shinano and take over this army. That doesn't seem like the worst idea. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Have him hang out there. And other than that, um, let's see, yeah, just bring it up some more units, some more guns, and should be ready to attack Musashi and Sagami pretty soon here. I think this army is just short of, what else am I waiting for here? Yeah, I just want one more spearman, so I have my spearman here, and I can actually just bring him over to the attack next turn. And then what am I waiting for here? Yeah, I need more spearmen here as well, so. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just wait until I have these two armies ready to go. Actually, you know, that's might be what I want to do is just bring this heir down here so that this one side general doesn't have to lead an army. Um, army in this one, should I say. Yeah, I like that idea better. Better. He can be siding, uh, fighting uh, side by side, more or less, with his father in Izu and Kai. Yeah, so that, that I like the looks of that. I'm just going to spend a few more turns getting my troops organized, and I'll be with you uh, at the end of this turn. Okay, not enough money for that. Alright, just keep moving my emissary along here. I'll have him bring in... Uh, let's look at the map and let's see where I want him to go. So, uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, Takeda, Jizo, oh, Pete's. Uh, they've now taken Shimotsuke as well. So they have Shimotsuke and Mutsu. So they are making a comeback, more or less. Jizo, oh, Pete's. Uh, huh. I mean, <laughs> it's... So this is what's kind of silly about all this, is that... Hida is not a very worthwhile province. It's uh, they get 120 Koku, 
So it doesn't get a whole lot of, um, you know, money. It's mountainous, it's easy to defend, but there's nothing else there. It's no, there's nothing to defend. And for that matter, Echu and Kaga aren't that great either. Again, defensible, sure. Kaga is very defensible. But, I mean, these are the breadwinners back here. Uh, Shimotsuke, Kazuke, Dewa, Mutsu. These are all very rich provinces. Um, yeah, so if Takeda is going to be making a pushback... Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm just going to keep moving along. I want to take a look. Uh, sure, I'll look at Shimosa and see what's down here. And in the meantime, I'm just going to continue bringing troops up and... Hopefully, uh, yeah, get ready to go here against um, Takeda pretty soon. Now that's all done, my soldiers are all moved up, and I don't have any more money to spend for this turn, so let's see, it's autumn, let's pump those taxes up. I'm sure I can get away with it, so let's see what kind of money I can make that next year, and yeah, see if there's any more developments in this uh, war between Takeda and Yusuke. Another Portuguese trading post is finished here, and another one, and another one. Got that famous armory in Agato, so I'll be getting better armor for my archers produced there. Got that palace producing better morale for my units in Tosa. Alright, Typhoon in Hyuga. The port was destroyed and income halved in Hyuga. Alright, uh, that's a little bit annoying, but not a big deal at this stage in the campaign. Average harvest, uh, 12,170. And we can go take a look at that here in Hyuga. Yeah, so the port's gone. That's something that uh, happens. I have these little events that come in that... Uh, no control over. It's just... It was a storm. A storm destroyed your port. Uh, in this case, I just build another one. I have the money for it. If that's something that happens to you kind of in the early or mid uh, campaign, it's it's pretty devastating, or it can be at least. But this late in the campaign, I have so many ports, doesn't really matter. Just build another one. Get that going. And let's see, it's winter, so I do have some more money to spend. Um... Yeah, so I'll probably put a few more Portuguese trading posts in, of course, and let's see, my troops are getting ready for this final push here in against Takeda. Uh, looks like it won't be this turn, but it might be the next turn. Uh, no promises made, but okay, let's see. We got eyes on here in Shimosa, so got a kind of a beat up half sack led by a two star general, which will be enough to hold. Um, you know, it's a river province, so they don't need a whole lot to hold this. Now I just want to keep looking around and seeing what else they have. Let's see. Um, oh, man. Wow. This is incredible. So, so Takeda, <laughs> they're making quite the push because they, they've taken Itachi now, which is a really good province. Um, so this is all Takeda. They have Musashi, Kuzuke, Shimotsuke, Hitachi, Mutsu. Wow, that's um, that's shocking. <laughs> huh, interesting. Well, I'm gonna go through here and check out Hitachi and Mutsu, and then uh, go through here and see what Yusugi has up here, because they're <laughs> wait, they're wasting a lot of soldiers. I'm your allies. <laughs> I'm allied against you. What are you doing with all of this? It's, you know, what are you doing? Like, you're losing your core territories and uh, in, a, in a fight that doesn't even exist for territories that are worthless. Ah, silly, silly. Okay, well, in any case, I might end up getting that uh, late game, uh, final end game war against Clan Takeda that I've always hoped for. Um, it'd be, as I was saying earlier in this campaign, it'd be nice to have to fight Yusugi or Hojo over and over and over again. Uh, Yusugi has kind of an annoying trait of just having all of these archers, which is, uh, kind of a pain. So if I could fight a different late game army, that'd be fun. In any case, we will see, and we will continue to watch that with, uh, great interest. Okay, I'm just gonna get my soldiers moved up. Well, actually, 
Um, I didn't build any soldiers because I didn't have the money for it, but I'm going to put some more, um, I'm just going to build stuff and move some stuff around and I'll get back to you when I'm ready to end this turn. Here we are. Got my troops moved up and my building decisions this time were a little bit more modest. I am still waiting for this golden palace to be built here in Satsuma. So I'm not going to do anything there, but instead what I'm looking at is building a fortress here in Tosa so I can get to that next level of building improvements for my Nodachi samurai produced here. And in addition to that, um, since Shinano can produce uh, cavalry with an honor bonus, I would like to produce cavalry, cavalry here at some point. So what I'm doing here is I'm building a, nope, not there, Shinano, and I have a spear dojo. That way I can eventually move on to building a large castle, and then I can build that horse dojo so I can produce uh, Yari cavalry here. And then I can also produce um, an armory here because there's iron sand deposits in Shinano. So that'll be a good place for me to build my Yari Cav with extra armor and extra honor. Uh, that'll be a good good place for them. And in addition to that, uh, Yamashiro, just because it gives a plus one honor bonus to any unit produced here. And since I have been producing Yari Samurai here, it's time for me to get that famous Spear Dojo for that plus one honor. So that'll be plus two honor altogether for them. And then I can move on to some other better upgrades, like a swordsmith or maybe a palace afterwards. We will see. Other than that, I got my units uh, plugged in, and I'm looking like... Um, is it now or later? I can't remember. It's not this turn, but it might be next turn that I'm ready to attack Sagami and Musashi. And, uh, okay. I will press end turn and see what happens. Okay, I got that golden palace and Tatsuma. Got that port in Saruga. Okay, so... Did Yusuke abandon Shimosa? I'm confused. I don't understand. I can't... I, I can't tell if that means I have vision on it or not. So Takeda still has soldiers here. Oh, this is so wild. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna keep uh, walking through the <laughs> devastation and seeing what's happened. Alright, um... Okay, I'm just gonna take a peek at my troops and get them moved up, and I think I'll be ready to attack this turn. Uh, we'll see. Okay, that's all done and taken care of, and I have my units moved up, and I've just... Since I have the money for it, I just put a few more Portuguese trading posts in. I decided at this point that troops are less important than just making sure I have a booming economy. So I'm getting that going. Uh, I just like to really get the rest of this covered before this really kicks off here in the north. I have decided that uh, it's time to invade Musashi and Sagami. Got my five star daimyo taken on Musashi. So that should be a fun one, and I have my three-star, uh, fourth oldest son, taken on Sagami here. I uh, don't expect him to stay. He, this general might actually fall back and reinforce Masashi, which I'd be okay with. Anyway, it's time to end turn and see what happens. Alright, got that famous Spear Dojo and Yamashiro. And I got a regular Spear Dojo in Shinano. Okay, Lord Takeda has decided he cannot win the battle and he is retreating. That's in Sagami, as I suspected. Alright, got some Koku pillage, got some facilities destroyed. And here we go in Masashi. 911 soldiers versus 742. This should be a fun one, so let's fight on the battlefield. Let's see, looking at, oh, didn't mean to click OK on that, but that'll be fine. Wind should be OK, uh, pretty standard stuff here, just got bridge and yeah, just have to it's a little tough when you don't have a lot of room on one side to form up uh, ranged units. 
It's a little bit better when you have a nice wide bank, quite frankly, like they do on this side. You can form up range units on either side. Not that they play defense that way, but uh, yeah, it's definitely easier when it's like that, but I can make do with this, and I'm just going to get my units grouped up, and I'll see you when that's ready. Alright, got them all grouped up, nice and simple-like, and begin battle. Here we go. Alright, what do we got? We got some Yari Cav, Yari Cav... Yari Kev, some Ashigaru, some Yari Samurai, some Archers, Ashigaru, let's see, doesn't look like they have a ton of Archers, maybe three or four units of Archers, which is not too bad, honestly, that's, uh, that's okay, that's, um, I can work with that. This is gonna be time to get my units lined up, since I need direct line of sight with my guns, I'm just gonna have them... See, I'm just going to speed this up because my camera's restricted right now. Alright, there we go. Now, so this is where it gets a little tricky. I think I want guns like... See, this is where it's nice to have like more space. If I just kind of go like... That with them. Then have this gun unit... Let's see... Like... So, all right, that should be fine, and actually I'll tell you what, I'll just get my units set up and ready to go, and I'll cut to you when I'm ready to advance on the bridge itself. All right, here we are, got my units lined up and ready to go. Uh, pretty standard stuff for me, I like to have my missiles up front to shoot down anyone that I'm able to get in range, because all I'm going to do with these guys, my... Spearmen, their jobs are to march across the bridge in loose formation to take as less casualties from missile fire as, fire as possible. And when they do bring in melee units to counter this, I'm just going to retreat across the bridge and try to draw them into the fire of my ranged units, my guns, and my archers. Who are they going to bring first? forward first? Uh, looking at some Yari Spearmen. Alright. And some more over there. Let's try to draw them in as close as I can before I retreat back. And that should be good. Alright, we're firing. Yep, muskets are shooting. Yes, yes. Get them. Nice. Good stuff. Alright. That's, uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of good damage in there. And, and the nice thing is, is that... They're not running away yet, which means they're taking more damage. Units that are on fire at will automatically stop shooting when units are running away. You can tell them to continue shooting if you'd like. However, I typically, just as a rule, usually just leave my units on fire at will. They do a good job of shooting when they're supposed to, and they good, do a good job of uh, to stop shooting if they're in danger of hitting any of uh, my own units. Which is a really nice thing. It's, I, I like that they're smart enough to do that. To stop shooting when they think they're going to hit their own guys. So, I usually just leave them on fire at will. Also, just because there's no shields in this game, no unit carries shields, you don't have to worry about units typically wasting uh, ammo on targets that they can't kill. Um, uh, so, in cases where there is, like, a, a Naginata has a heavy... Heavy, heavy armor. In that case, I might redirect fire towards a less armored target just to make sure I get more damage off of my units that are shooting. However, in battles like this, um, I will let them shoot whatever they want because it's all good targets. Alright, so they're bringing in Cav now, so I want to make sure I get back across the bridge quickly before they uh, get my guys. Not that that's, not that, that wouldn't be a good uh, good trade for me. Spears against Cav would be, go very well in my case. But I just want to make sure that right now I'm fighting the battle on my terms. Let's see, if they want to come over that bridge, they're welcome to, but uh, I don't think that's going to go very well for them. And that's it. That's it for that. So, let's see. They're still... Uh, okay, quite tired. Okay, that's fine. I was thinking about sending them right over again, but I'll let them get some rest, and let's get the other unit ready. Can speed this up just a little bit. 
All right, who's coming out this time? All right, some more Yari Samurai. Got a couple more beefy units of Yari Samurai. Got some Ashigaru in the back. Let's see. All right, they're bringing the horses in. All right, let's shoot these guys down. Yes, yes, yes. Fire it, will please. Take them out. Take them out. Take them out. All right, how are we doing up here? Mourn them down? Yes, that's really good. <laughs> it's really satisfying. <laughs> Alright, just speed up to let my units get in position here. And I might not actually be able to win this battle. I might just kind of hold back and uh, do this again for a second round. Um, I think I'll be able to get really close. Um, there's a chance, maybe, I'll be able to take out enough units that I feel comfortable launching a full-out assault on the bridge. Uh, we'll see. It's, I'm kind of border borderline on it right now. I'm liking, I'm liking the progress that we're making, and still have a decent amount of ammunition on my archers, and plenty of ammunition. Oh, oh, they're, they're bringing their general in. That's their general right there, and they're, they're bringing him in. Let's see if we can gun him down. Tempted to turn my spearman around to uh, take him out. Is he gonna get shot down? Can we get him? Oh come on! They're they're killing everyone but him. Get him! Get him! Oh man! So many of his men died. All right. Got one more full strength, healthy unit of Yari Samurai they can put across the bridge. Alright, let's just speed it up a little bit here. All right, who's next? All right, they're bringing the general right back in, it looks like. All right, we'll take it. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. All right, he's running away. So they're not going to shoot at him anymore since he's running away. All right, let's see. It looks like this unit is quite fresh, so I think I say we uh, it's time to bring him up again. Let's see. How are they looking over here? Got some Yari Cav running away. That is the general's unit, so this entire army has taken quite the morale hit at this point. Oh, it looks like he did come back. All right, so he came back. He's ready for some more. He wants to dance, let's go. Alright, is he gonna charge in again? I mean, he still has plenty of infantry units he could be sending forward instead of himself. So, you know, if he wants to be that guy. Yeah, they just want to keep sending the horses in. They, they don't, they don't want to counter spears with spears, they want to counter spears with horses. Uh, okay, right, let's... Let's just stay until they're ready to actually commit. All right, let's go. All right, they are throwing their archers in now, so that's an interesting choice. I wonder if that means they're out of ammo already. I'm gonna, instead of just sending my, since they're bringing the archers in, I don't need to send my guys back right away because they're not getting shot anyway. So I can just kind of keep teasing this and kind of bringing them back and forth across the bridge, trying to tease the en the uh, enemy out into range of my ranged units. And since, uh, yeah, that, that should be good for now. I can bring them back. 
Yeah, they've taken some damage. They're at half health right now. But that's nothing. If you look at this kill ratio, I'm doing pretty well. So let's see. They're all getting mowed down. At this point, it's a good idea to take a look at my... Looks like they're all still firing. They're still firing. Okay. Um, let's see. I'll actually bring that spear unit in the back. He's probably done for this battle. So they are actually in loose formation skirmishing against me right now, which, um... It's only 16 guys, so it's not a, not the biggest deal if they're shooting. So my muskets, so that's a nice thing about muskets in these river battles is that they actually can shoot back when they want to do this to me. Um, if I was using arquebusiers, they just have to sit there and take it, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, even these guys, which are kind of back off the river a little bit, even they are in range of these, uh, these archers. And they are taking them down eventually. And they have the ammo too. They have plenty of ammo. If you look at down here, it's the gold, uh, kind of golden bronze bar. That's the ammo limit. Whereas with the archers, they're almost out, or are out in some cases. Uh, that's how you know. So, yeah, the guns have plenty of ammo, and that encourages me just just to keep doing this. Um, I might actually stay longer until. Yeah, I might actually just do this battle. I might actually finish it. Just because I have all of that ammo on my guns, I can still do quite a bit of damage on this army. And I mostly, I just want to get the, the infantry taken care of, but there's still quite a bit of infantry. That's the one thing. Or should I say melee units? We'll see. We'll see how I feel about it, though. Got some Yari Samurai and some Ashigarus coming in now. So let's back up, uh, back up, did I not? Okay, so I guess they're, I thought I told them to retreat, but um, they're just gonna run away instead, which serves the same purpose, that's fine with me. As long as we get a chance to shoot these guys, that's all working out just fine. Now, since these guys are probably out of ammo, if I just, if I click, if I select an archer unit and then hover over an enemy unit, and if there's a sword instead of a bow, that means out of ammo. So yes, this unit is out of ammo, so I'm just going to bring them back. And I think this unit is as well. Let's check. Yes, they are. So these two archer units are out of arrows, but this one isn't. If you see there's a bow, that means they're good. So I'm going to bring them closer. The reason why they still have ammo is because they're farther off the river and they haven't been able to shoot as well. And let's see. Guns are still doing okay as well. Yes, they are. Alright, let's get the spearmen rushing across now. The other way. And I can speed this up while they do so. Alright, who's gonna come forward this time? What are we looking at? Some Yari Spears, uh, Yari Spears. Samurai Archers again, just throwing them in- throw, throwing them into the meat grinder. Alright, kind of time to mow down these archers. It's all work that all works out for me because any archer that's dead is not gonna be able to fight me in the next battle. Let's see if we can get some of these Yara Samurai out to fight me. And some of these Ashigaru maybe. Yeah, they're looking pretty thin, honestly. They are looking pretty thin. I, I would imagine that they're probably pretty low on ammo as well. I know these guys back here are still shooting at me. Um, oops, I forgot. I have to retreat. Uh-oh. I might lose this unit. Okay, they're already running away. That's fine. That's what I want them to do anyway, so... They can retreat, and, you know, there's so many guys that are running away, and in this case... Um... It might be time just to go full on. Maybe get a few shots here at these uh, this cavalry. That works for me. And 
Let's see, I can bring these soldiers back. And... Yeah, as long as they're running away, I can bring up... I don't want to lead with my Nodachi because their armor is lower than my Spearman's. So I can bring up my Spearman first and they can essentially screen for my Nodachi Swordsman. And then I can just bring the Nodachi Swordsman to kill whatever resists us. And yeah, these guys are pretty much done. I'm not going to bring them into it. They've served their purpose. Uh, I don't want to waste any more lives on this one. It's been a really grindy fight as is. And at this point, it's time to... Nope, you guys are done. 26 Yari Samurai. You don't have to fight this fight anymore. But the 49 Yari Samurai with a weapons upgrade. Yeehaw. Let's go do it. I don't even know if I need to be in loose formation anymore just because I think that they might be out of ammo. There's no point to be in loose formation. Loose formation actually does decrease morale by two points. So it's something that you only really want to do to decrease casualties from um, arrow fire. You do not want to be in melee combat when you are, um, you know, when you are in that, when you are in loose formation. So let's see, bring those guys up, they'll screen, and uh, I'm a little behind on this, I need to bring up my Nodachi. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up, here we go. There we go, and yeah, bring in my Daimyo as well. This is going to be the fight of fights. Alright, who's uh, who's fighting me? Some Yari Samurai. Uh, got the Yari Cavs hanging out, and yeah, I'll bring my Daimyo in for some support. He will... He will help out. My Spearman should do well against the horses. But what I really need, I would really like to get these Nodachi Swordsman and bring them up. And at this point, if everyone's going to run away, I can try to bring my Yuri Cav up as well. Might be a little too late for that, but we'll see what I can get done. Alright, Heavy Cav, rush them up ahead. Go ahead and do your thing. I'll have my Spearman get out of the way. Because that's exactly what they are right now. They're in the way. Get out of the way. Alright, horses. Chase. And at this point, just speed that one up. Don't think there should be any reinforcements for this one. I believe it was 700 and something. Full stack is like 960, so... Yep, that's good. Let's check it out. Let's see, um, so that was the first time with the muskets, and as you can see, they didn't do too bad. Look at that. 221 kills on one unit of muskets, and 80 kills on another unit of muskets. Now, I know, I know, this is a bridge battle. It's kind of, you expect numbers like that, but, uh, I'm looking forward to showing you what they can do in other battles as well in the open field, because as long as they have line in sight and it's not raining, they can do some pretty good, uh, pretty good stuff, so... I was happy I had a chance to show you that. Let's see. All right, moving on. Facilities destroyed five. I got 975 Koku from Masashi. Yeehaw. Nice. Okay, let's see. Anything else? Got these two provinces. That's nice. Let's see. Did it come with anything? No. That's okay though, I got a border watchtower here in Misashi, so I got vision on Shimosa. I already have to check it out before, but let's just see what's going on here. Yeah, so, Clan Yusugi is still hanging on uh, to a castle here, but they're almost gone. They get to, uh, Takeda does have a three-star air right here. What about here? Another three-star air here in Kazuke. Yeah, Takeda's really taking it to them. That, man, that was a... Uh, that was unexpected, at least for me. I, I did not see that one coming. I thought I thought that Takeda was done. I thought that I was gonna take Sagami and Masashi and then Kazuke, you know, maybe I maybe Yusugi would have taken Kazuke. I don't know. But the fact that I mean they took how many provinces did they they one, two, three provinces in in, in the time that it's taken me just to take these two that were barely defended. I don't know, but maybe Clan Yusugi didn't have theirs well defended either, so... Let's check out these Takeda armies. Got some Naginata cavalry, got some warrior monks, so yeah, there's some nasty stuff here for sure. Should provide for, um... 
a nice fight at the end if it's going if it is indeed going to be between me and them another thing to, another thing to keep an eye on is it'd be cool to see if there's going to be a, a final showdown between Yusugi Kenshin and Takeda Shingen just because they were rivals in history and I don't have eyes on Takeda Shingen I wonder if maybe he's in I wonder I wonder where he is uh, okay let me look he's not in Dewa Yusugi still has Dewa where's where's Shingen Hitachi he must be in Hitachi yeah it's the only place I don't have eyes on so he must be there actually that's what I want to go see I want to see if he's here uh, uh, Takeda might be cleaning up the rest of this part of the Yusugi provinces before they decide to move uh, that way so we will see what they continue to do. I'm just going to move my forces up and get ready to end this turn. All right, now I've moved my soldiers up and let's see, I'm about ready to end the episode here. I was just thinking um, for the next episode, let's take move my soldiers together a little bit. Yeah. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I got room for one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Uh, let's see, going on to the next episode, I would like to, I think I'll be able to take Kazuke and Shimotsuke, but one thing I had in mind was that now with Takeda's uh, rapid expansion, it's going to make my my advance um, while also staying allies to Yusugi even a little bit more trickier, because in this case, if I just want to take out Takeda before declaring war on my ally, Clan Yusugi, that means just going right down the middle here and going Kazuke, Shimotsuke, and then eventually Mutsu, and then Hitachi. Uh, instead of taking out Shimosa, which would make things easier. Um, yeah, that's kind of awkward, but that's what's making this campaign so interesting, so I'm happy to do it. I'm glad to do it. Uh, I'm looking forward to an exciting, fun finish here. Eventually, when this does kick off, Yusugi might not have a whole lot of fight up here. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not... I'm not really sure yet on that one, but they're saving up for a fight here for sure. So there's going to be some of that to come in the next episodes. And until then, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, this has been Kind of Step and this has been Shogun Total War. Thank you very much and goodbye.